But okay. the uh, Sai Deepak, the closest relation that is made to the hijab is with the Sikh male turban. Huh? Of course, you can make a, the closest relationship or correlation also is with the ghungat, for example, amongst Hindu women. But nobody is insisting on putting girls under ghungat in a classroom. The closest then comparison is with the Sikh turban. Could you no, the, could you explain? You can't compare it with the turban. No, I know you, you can't. can't but I will turban. have I will have the legal. Uh, uh, I will have the it. lawyer on Men my don't. panel explain that. Uh, you uh, uh, you can come in Shazia later. So Sai Deepak, why this demarcation? Shivani, first of all, congratulations on your patience. I wish I had your kind of patience. You're doing a fantastic job putting up with these kind of arguments. So here's my response. Point number one. The Sikh turban has been established as an essential practice as part of Sikhism by courts multiple times. That's point number one. Here in the facts of this case, it has been at least on the face of it established that until December 2021, this was never an issue. But here, let me agree with the lady who spoke before me, who said, I have a right to wear a hijab and also have access to education. She's right, but not in these schools. You can't expect the school to change its position. You can't expect the system to change its position. If you want both hijab and education, go to a different school. The school will not change its position. The school is not taking an anti-hijab position. The school has taken a position against all religious symbols. If it is, if you have the guts to say that I want to have both hijab as well as education, choose a different school. How on earth do you think you have the right to actually ask the entire system to change itself? Is this a France where we are actually asking for a ban on the hijab entirely? Yeah, you are following Even in public that. places? How is this? Within the classroom, it I is applied uniformly the across the board. There is not a position I that is taken which is pro-Hindu. There is not a position that is taken which is anti-Muslim. It clearly takes a secular position. And if that is still your problem, you have the right to get access to both hijab and education, but not in these institutions. You are nobody to change the system. Go set up your own institutions or go to a different institution which allows all of this. How on earth can you actually change the rules of an existing system which is being applied across the board? What gives you the right to do so? You wear your hijab, you wear it everywhere, everywhere, no problem, but not in this institution. The institution deserves the right and has the power to decide who will wear what inside its place. How do you get the right to change that? Why don't so, you change your school if you have such a problem? Your Sai, community already has so many institutions, go get educated there. Instead, you have resorted to a situation where you're actually presenting Bharat as an anti-Muslim country and as a country where hijab is being banned across the board, is that the reality of this country? Are you not doing injustice to everyone who's living around you? You don't have Hindu friends? Is this the way you represent the rest of the country and community? Have some sense of shame and responsibility when you actually tarnish this entire country as anti-Muslim. Sai, can I come in here? Do you yes, believe please. the institution's right yeah, are great? Kazima ji, Kazima ji, please don't speak over each other. Sai, do you believe the institution's right is greater than an individual's right in this case? And there are precedents to that. Always, but this is a three-judge bench. Uh, ju uh, three judge bench. There are not just precedents. Here's the funny part. The rule has been in existence since 1995. I've said this over and over again. If any of these people had a problem with it, they should have raised a constitutional challenge as opposed to suddenly propping the hijab as a manufactured controversy for the very first time in January and suddenly saying that the school is anti-Muslim. You've endangered the lives of your teachers. You've endangered the lives of the authorities of the particular school. And I'm sorry to say it can't get more irresponsible than this because as a consequence, what you have done is that you have painted a target on their backs and have asked all anti-social elements to go after them. This is the consequence of what you have actually done. You had the right to choose both hijab and education, which means your option should have been, I walk out of this particular school. A school that does not respect my hijab does not deserve my respect and you should have gotten out of the school. Instead, you're asking the school to change its rules and your students and your fellow mates also to do so. Was there an instance of anybody wearing a saffron shawl before this particular incident? It did not happen. It happened for the very first time because your action provoked a reaction. And now we are busy I painting the entire community as anti-minority. We are busy painting oh, the entire God. country as anti-minority. Then we will I have Jews everywhere. We'll have mobilizations across the world. We'll have statements issued in Pakistan against India of all the places. Okay. Shame on these people. Absolutely anti-Indian behavior. Well, Absolute this is why it's time. Uh, it's time we said enough is enough. No, this is exactly why I was insisting that the court, court is hearing the matter during this time. Please have faith in the process. Otherwise, there is nothing. Not in the process. There They've is nothing to govern to us. And if Free people continue to push this position, we will go into anarchy. I hope the students are listening and their activists are listening and their parents and their community are listening.
because this will not help anyone. I have to leave yeah, it at that, stone. unfortunately. I have, to, I have to leave it at that. I do thank our guests for joining us. The schools, at least till class 10, are set to open on Monday. The government says they'll see how to progress from there on. Thanks a lot for watching.